Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings, where I do readings for celebrities and celebrities only. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are interested in that. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, all the information on how to book one is down below. <laughs> I literally jumped up, okay? Turned my camera on when I saw the news that has broke, okay? Everything here is alleged because, of course, we're dealing with uh, celebrities, public figures. Tarot is for entertainment purposes only. But I wanted to do a reading on Adam Levine and his wife, Bahati Prinslow. And the reason why is because a IG model by the name of Summer Stroh, and I looked it up, it says she's a Leo. She has come forward, okay? She has a video out where she's talking about an alleged affair that she had with Adam Levine when she was 19, all right? And allegedly, um, she had an affair with him, and she's 23 now, I believe. And she said the reason that she came forward is because I believe that somebody somebody she was close to that she shared the information with, either they're threatening to have it released or some type of publication is threatening to release it. So she was like, I might as well just confess everything. Long story short, that's not even the worst, okay? Is this alleged affair. What else has come forward is that a couple of years later, Adam Levine reaches out, right? And he is from Maroon 5, for those of you all that don't know. But he reaches out to her and he says, hey, <laughs> you know, just reaching out to somebody you used to have a little fling with on the side. And he says, um, I'm having another child with his wife. OK. And he asked her, would it be OK if he has a son? Can he name his son Summer? Ugh. OK, anyways, I'm going to get into this reading. OK, I want to see what's the energy around Adam and his wife, Bahati, and just see what comes through. OK, Adam Levine is a Pisces with a Scorpio moon. Hmm. And Bahati is a Taurus with a Gemini moon. So let's get started. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear, and precise messages that need to come through for Adam Levine and Bahati Prinslow. Adam Levine and Bahati Prinslow. All right. If anybody's name or anything is mispronounced, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Given the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please. Given the most detailed and accurate messages around this marriage. Overall for this marriage is the Queen of Cups, okay? Queen of Cups comes out in a reading when it has to do with compassion, calmness, or comfort, okay? This is going to be the hottie side. Uh-oh. Oh, baby. This is going to be Adam's side. Ooh, chow, 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 chow. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Let me tell you something. Whether or not, okay, this situation has already been talked about, but let me just say, with this Ace of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, there could be some codependency, some insecurity, and just a lot of drama that's already gone on in this marriage, or it could be, allegedly, what has come out, okay, or what is soon to be um, happening with this couple, because, baby, let me tell you something. Some ain't cleaning the buttermilk. Over here on Bahati's side, you have the Five of Pentacles in a reverse, King of Swords in a reverse. You have the Six of Swords, y'all. She may have moved on or she may be planning on moving away or going to calmer waters after a situation, okay? Because you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Swords, okay? So I'm just saying, she may have already found out about this or she may already allegedly know about Adam Levine's indiscretions and she may choose to stay or she may choose to walk away, okay? Because the um, Six of Swords is like trans transitioning, moving towards calmer waters, okay? So like I said, one or two things has happened. She already knew about this or she already knew about some other women allegedly and they either are going to work this out or they're going to stay together. We'll see what, you know, what else comes through. But let me tell you one thing. She does not see him in a good light, okay? He's coming up as the king of swords in the reverse, which is a person that can be manipulative, somebody that can be cruel, somebody that can um, have a weakness, basically, like a weakness for giving in to sins or whatever the case may be. Also, with this five of pentacles here, 
in the reverse, it has to do with recovery. I'm telling you, she may have already found out about this woman, or she may have already found out about somebody else that he has cheated with allegedly. Okay. And this right here may be like the reopening of a wound. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe that this is happening. All right. I cannot believe that there's more to the story. There's another situation that's going on, that type of energy. Okay. Because over here on Adam's side, baby, things are not good. Okay. This is somebody, <laughs> this is somebody that's trying to have willpower. He could have a sex addiction, allegedly. Okay. Um, he could just be somebody that he gives in. Okay. Because that seven of cups there in the reverse speaks to um, a person that could be confused. Oh, he may be confused. He may be shocked. He can't be shocked that this came out. Okay. <laughs> and then you also have the temperance card here in the reverse. Okay. Which means that um, life is off balance at this time. Okay. And then you also have the six of one. Six of one has to do with victory, success, public reward, good news, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, I oh, I feel like he ran to her and he may have said something or he he softened the blow before things got ugly. Okay. Hmm. So I'm clean. Let me see. Tell me more about this couple. Tell me more about this couple. Has Adam Levine been unfaithful to Bahati in the past? Has Avril Levine been unfaithful to Bahati in the past? Yes, I'm telling you. I do feel like he's already either beat it to the punch and told her about this situation or somebody else because you have that Knight of Pentacles there, okay? You got that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, look at her. She is very focused on... She, let me tell you, she's big on family. She is big on family. Oh, yeah, chaos is here, baby. Drama is here. Let me just tell you something. Bottom of the deck, you have the six of wands in the reverse. I'm telling you, after some type of period of good news and things that he had been receiving, now this news hits, okay? That six of wands in the reverse. But I feel like she may have already confronted him about some things that he may have done, but he may have had too much pride. His pride wouldn't let him admit that something has happened. But I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel like he has a sexual addiction, okay? Because you do have the uh, devil card here in the upright on Adam's side. I do believe it looks like future energy here that Bihati may end up walking away from this situation. I do believe that she has been, she found out about some in the past and it, and it hurt like hell. Okay. Cause now that ton of sauce is in the reverse. It was like, damn, at this point, I can't trust anything else that you say at this point, I'm having to walk away from this situation. And let me tell you, this is not something easy for her. Cause see, look at this 10, 10 angel numbers, 10, 10. All right. With this 1010, I also feel like for her, it was uh, a family is very important to her. Building a legacy is very important to her. The strength of her family means a lot, okay? And keep in mind that Bahati is a Taurus, okay? She's a Taurus and she's like heavy Gemini. And for her marriage, um, from what I'm seeing in the cards, is something that's very important, something she takes very seriously. And she also does not play about her privacy. And I believe having this situation like this come to the forefront is painful. Okay. And I do feel like for her, she's either going to take a break, uh, maybe distance herself from him, or she is going to divorce him. Okay. You also have that King of Wands and then you also have that Seven of Pentacles. All right. This is hard work. She felt like she put a lot of work into this marriage. And for her, she feels like I put so much work into this marriage, but here I am dealing with somebody who still hasn't grown up. Okay. Knight of Wands energy. Also, Knight of Wands could indicate a young person, okay? Now, keep in mind, Summer, the side chick, is a Leo, okay? And we do have the Knight of Wands that can indicate Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But um, over here on Adam's side, before I even get to that, I'm going to be honest with you. He may have done a lot of things in the past, and I feel like the love hasn't been the same in this marriage. The connection hasn't been the same in this marriage for a long time. 
Okay. And I do feel because that Ace of Swords is here on Adam's side. So allegedly he is the cause, you know, this cause here, that Ace of Swords is like chaos. You know, this is confusion and all of these types of things that are going on. It's sort of like he is confused or he doesn't know what it is that he wants because you also have this four of cups in the reverse, okay, which is somebody that's choosing happiness. And I do feel like for him, his happiness consists of indulging in his pleasures. Okay. I'm telling y'all, he got some, whew, it is hot in here. That man has some fetishes, baby. He is a freak. Allegedly. <laughs> so let's see. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Adam Levine. And Bahati, give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Bahati and Adam. God, I pulled a lot of freaking cards. Oh my goodness. Woo. Y'all, I think they got a lot going on in this marriage. All right. September. You cannot make this up. We are in the month of September. So um, I always say something significant can happen in the month of September. Okay. So definitely something significant has happened this month. Mercury retrograde is not planned this year. Okay. If you out here and you're mad or you're doing something, it's going to come out in this month. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Mercury ain't playing with us. Look at that. Hidden intentions. Okay. You also have, I wish I had more time. Mm. Codependent female. Okay. So um, I mentioned that um, over here, I'm not surprised that Bahati, I feel like for her, she may have found out about some stuff or whatever she does find out. Allegedly, I do feel like for her, she is going to try to make her marriage work because a marriage is so important to her. And of course she has that right, but she could also have codependent issues. You have songs remind me of you. You have break the ice, okay? So there may be no communication between these two at this time. March, March could indicate Pisces or Aries. Or March could indicate when um, this may have been discussed. Because I'm telling you, I just get a strong feeling. This is Dave. She already knows. All right. And then you also have here greed. Mm. You have November, okay? It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Sagittarius. I did mention Um some Sagittarius energy, Leo energy earlier. You have blessings are coming. Dating disaster. Brown eyes, okay? Somebody could have brown eyes. You have, I miss your lips. You told me you was ready. I'm telling you, I feel like something has happened at some point and they were going to say, oh, yeah, we're going to make this work. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But it was like, really, you told me you were ready. And then you have gift. OK, so there could be some gifts that one of them has could, could be receiving. It also could be the gift, the gift of a child. Ah, Sorry, y'all. I can barely talk. All right. You have money block, family, friends, spending, fear, lover, or lack of vision. Okay. Somebody could be experiencing a money block. You have confused. I told y'all there was a lot of confusion that's going on on Adam's side of the reading. And I do feel like for him, it's because I feel like for him, one part of him wants to be in a marriage, wants to be loving, wants to be devoted, but the other side of him gives in to his pleasures. I do feel like he is very kinky. That energy keeps coming through. Look at that. Kiss in the dark. There is that sign of a secret relationship. I'm telling y'all, I feel like this man got a freaky side. Hmm. 
Okay, how many do we have? I may pull some more. All right. I told y'all, I think this man a freak. <laughs> and I'm not surprised. Baby, with that Pisces, look, that Pisces sign, that Scorpio moon, and that Mercury and Aries. Whew. I'm going to leave that alone. All right, you have spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. <laughs> okay, Adam, did you do this with that younger woman? Allegedly. Mm. There's also a Libra in the mix, okay? Allegedly, there could be somebody else. You also have here Friday, okay? So something could significant could happen on a Friday, okay? You have here fading success. Mm smoke some trees, okay? Somebody could, you know, smoke that Bob Marley. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ooh, child. I'm gonna let y'all read that, okay? <laughs> Can I take a picture of your screw face? Let's see. Let me get three more. Oh, I told y'all. Y'all, this man a freak. <laughs> he is battling the freak within, okay? You have, you think you can handle me? Mm. And you have the little blue pill. I'm going to leave this alone, okay? That's your business, Adam. <laughs> oh, if you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> Y'all know over here we get down in these celebrities' business. All right, let's get to these next cards, okay? You have here, I hate that you put me on such a high pedestal. OK, because I'm telling you, I do feel like he fights back and forth with the ideal of do I really want to be married or I, do I really want to be faithful? Like, I don't know if that's me. That's the energy that I get from him. All right. And then you have I know I'm still your best. Your body knows me best. I'm not looking for your replacement. And keep it on the low. See what I'm saying? I'm not looking for your replacement. No, no, I'm being I'm being committed. I'm being faithful. It's only you. But then at the same time, I want something on the side that I can keep on the low. I'm telling you, this is somebody that wants their cake and eat it too. Allegedly. I dropped some of my cards, but that was something you all already seen. You have desire, obsession. You can't make this up. I'm telling y'all, that man loves sex. And you have going deeper. All right. You also have here abundance. Abundance has been coming in a lot in this reading too. It says keep a, mind, a positive mindset. It says taking a chance or a risk, being strategic. All right. Not showing your hands and gambling. I'm telling you, a very strategic person, try to make sure that they don't get caught um, because this person likes to present this image of security and stability. All right. You have trust. It is safe for you to love and getting to know each other. I'm telling you, I do feel like this is going to be a bump in a roll for them. They are going to rebuild trust in this connection slowly. All right. You have patience. Inter oh, look at that. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Interference. An external party it is intruding on this relationship. Is it not a third party situation? You have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. You cannot make this up. Some distance will help to bring clarity. I'm telling you, I believe these two are going to be distant. They may end up getting some type of marriage counseling. I do believe that Adam is going to get some type of counseling and he is going to um, maybe open up in the uh, like a magazine or article. I'm feeling something about a news article or a magazine saying that he has an addiction and there was some type of addiction that was affecting his marriage and that he is better now. Okay. I'm just saying. Final messages for this reading. I want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how. I seek strength and courage. I wasn't ready for what you was offering. You cannot make this up. That's why he is in a confusion. This is somebody that I feel he loves beautiful women. Um, I feel that for him, a part of him wants stability, but a part of him wants his freedom. That Venus in a um, that Venus in Aquarius, along with that Mars and Pisces. So he's in like a fantasy world type of energy. And it says, "You accepted me for me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I couldn't do the same." So we'll see how this unfolds. 
quotes. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have it. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information on how to book one is down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.